If you are a Podia customer and you are considering switching over to another platform such as System.io, this video is going to give you some basic information to help you make a decision as to whether or not this is the correct move for you to do and what are the things to watch for in case you do think it is a better fit for you to do so. So this is a question that came from somebody in my tech support membership, and I wanted to answer this in a video format because I felt that it could be probably be serving other people who might be using Podia and considering switching. Now, the platform that I typically work with is system.io, and I have used Podia. It was actually my first course platform that I've used for my online business after suffering with WordPress. And then I went to Podia, and I, I really enjoyed Podia, and I've had the CEO of Podia on my podcast. And, um, you know, I've, I've enjoyed, I've got a great company and great deliverables and all that, but things have evolved over time and I decided to make a switch. First, I moved to Kajabi, then I moved to System.io. Now, here is why you should consider moving if this is something you want to do. So Podia is really simple, right? Podia gives you uh, some level of customization, but essentially there's different parts that you simply cannot customize. And if you're a Podia customer, you know what I'm talking about because it's very basic. And I'll give you an example. I have created a software called confettipage.com and that lets you the option to add a confetti animation on your thank you page. Now, you cannot actually take the HTML code and embed it on a Podia page as an example. So that's a level of customization. You simply don't have that option. Another example is in System.io in my membership platform, I'm actually embedding an Airtable type uh, directory type thing, a searchable directory. And I do that because I'm using another platform which I can grab the HTML, put it in my course area in system IO, and then I got a searchable directory. I could not do that if I was using Podia. So there's different elements where if you've got different things that you want to embed, you are not able to do that. Another example, I am embedding a searchy video, which is a video hosting platform. And that allows my people to have chapters in the video and also searchable content in the video and a transcription. Now I do that because I prefer that type of a setup to having just the standalone video uploads in system. And also in Podia, you can only have, you upload a video and it's hosted on Wistia and you don't have those features available per se. And that is why I prefer to be able to embed a video from an external platform. Now, if that doesn't matter to you, like I'm giving you some examples of use cases that Podia will not work for me. If those things don't matter to you, I wouldn't worry about switching. Another example of things that you can't really do with Podia, but you could do with System as an example, is the ability to have multiple upsells. Now, the multiple upsells could also mean customizing the way you want the upsell to look like or the order bump. Because in Podia, you can do one order bump, you can do one upsell, but or I think you can even do more than one upsell. But the point is that you can't customize the look and feel of how that upsell looks like. I don't believe you can add a video to the upsell page, which to me is very important. Whereas in, in system or other tools, you can actually add a video to those type of things. So there is a level of customization, which Podia just doesn't give you. Now let's talk about pricing. In Podia, their pricing is $33 a month if you pay for the year up front. But now they've actually changed their pricing, but it doesn't include email marketing. So depending if you're choosing the pricing of, um, if you've got a list of under 1,500 or 5,000 or 10,000 or whatever, it stacks up on the pricing depending on how big your email list is. And with System.io, as an example, that pricing limitations are not so major. So for example, in Podia, if you pay the annual plan, the basic plan, of $33 per year, and you have email list under 500, you will be paying the same amount for the webinar plan in System.io, which will give you up to 10,000 email contacts and webinars and all these things. And you can also do blogs and funnels and affiliate program and all those things. And you can charge subscriptions. Whereas if Podia, if you want to charge a subscription, you have to be on the higher plan, which is 79 a month. So those are kind of the pricing comparisons that you're just going to get better value with system in regards to that. Now, in the case of my client, for example, uh, they're using Podia to also run a membership subscription and stuff like that. Now with Podia, if you were to disconnect and stop uh, using Podia and move elsewhere, you would also have to have people cancel their membership in Podia and resubscribe 
in system or whatever other platform they're using. And therefore, if you've got a, a lot of people on that, you don't want to do that because you're going to have an issue with cancellations. You'll just basically lose revenue. So if losing revenue is going to, um, you know, not really be attractive, like in terms of the saving costs, then just keep making money with Podia. You know what I mean? So it's not really a big deal, basically. Yes, Podia is a bit more expensive, but it's also, there is an element of familiarity and it is simpler to use. It's definitely like simpler. And if somebody has been using it for a long time, it's definitely a lot simpler to set up. So those are kind of the pros and cons, primarily functionality and pricing and do you already have an ongoing membership in Podia? Those are the three things that I would really consider. And if none of those things really bother you, then I just wouldn't worry about it. Keep using Podia. Podia is a great platform. I still affiliate it. Uh, I still think it's a good platform. And uh, yeah, there's no real issues with that. I will mention uh, one other thing is that they do have a free plan as well. But with the free plan, they are taking 8% of your sales as well. And I'm not a fan of giving percentage of my company, basically. So I would definitely consider moving at that stage. And also you can't have a custom domain and you can't charge payments through PayPal as well, which PayPal, you definitely can make more money. Another thing that uh, is a benefit to using system specifically is that you can charge subscription through PayPal, whereas you can't through Prodia. And I found that I definitely get a lot of people using PayPal as well. And I do feel that if I didn't use system, I would lose revenue because people are kind of accustomed to using PayPal. So that's about it. That's the criteria I would consider functionality of the editor and functionality of upsells, downsells, things like that. Um, the pricing, uh, the email list, if you have a big email list, it's going to end up being more worthwhile to move elsewhere. Uh, but I think in the case of my clients specifically, it's really not a big deal because it's more of a, um, you know, there's not like a big, not that there's a huge market, but it's more about real quality email list and then um, more of a higher ticket sales and coaching and membership. So I don't think it matters as much in terms of the, the size of the email list. So that's about it. Hope you found this video helpful, both my client. And then if you're watching this on YouTube, uh, let me know if you have any additional questions about this topic of uh, uh, Podia or system. If you want to know anything else, happy to record another video or answer additional questions. You will see additional video about how I use Searchy as well, somewhere around here, because that's relevant to System.io. And um, also I've got a comparison video between Kajabi and System.io in case you're interested in that as well. That's about it. Thanks all for watching and I'll speak to you soon.